The post-practice water break is presented by Crown Royal. Stay hydrated, stay royal, please drink responsibly. And J.P. Shadrick with right tackle Jawan Taylor entering year number three, a couple weeks in, going into week number three. It's always great to see you. How you feeling physically so far? I'm feeling pretty good, man. Uh, coming out of camp and stuff, my body was a little beat up and bunk up, but I'm just staying on my regimen. I always stay on to keep getting my body treated so I can feel good come Sunday. So just staying with my my steady routine. That's it. You've always been Mr. Reliable. I don't think you've missed a game, you know, in your yep. career. So that, that's got to be a badge of honor for you just to be out there, the consistent uh, rocket right tackle. Right, man. I, I just take it seriously, man. I take, um, you know, taking care of my body extremely seriously, just making sure I'm available for my team and being, you know, being on the field on Sunday and doing what I love to do. Um, I hate missing time and I done played through a lot of injuries and stuff like that before, nicks and bruises and just keep going. So that's what I do. Urban always talks about the uh, the added benefits that they put in this year with the rejuvenation stations and all of that. I mean, right. w- what's the what would you say is the most popular one of those spots down there for this Jaguars team? Uh man, definitely the float tank or the cryotherapy. Those are like the two main ones that's always overbooked and uh you know, guys love it, man. Coach Urban did a great job with adding that for us. So, you know, just so we don't have to go out and spend money to go get treatment and stuff like that, we can have everything in the building. So it's been amazing, man. You save us money and, you know, we get treated right here at home. Urban Meyer always talks about it, and he's, he's done it again this week. Uh, the most important thing for any team's success is the locker room and right. the close-knit aspect, the chemistry of players. So far, a couple weeks in, I know there hasn't been a winning result yet. That's going to come. Mm -hmm. This locker room, how how close is this group in there? Oh, the locker room's amazing, man. Um, They did a great job in free agency and in the draft, bringing good guys in. And, you know, the guys that was on the team last year are still here. You know, it's just always great having us all here together. And, you know, we we all built great relationships. We all trust one another. We play for one another. So, you know, it feels like a big brotherhood here, and it's amazing. Juwan, you've been around here for now going into year number three. This is a long losing skid for this organization, mm-hmm. two to start this season. Right. How frustrating is that for you? Um, it's just frustrating, man. You know, um, we all want to win. We all working hard. Um, you know, we busting our butt. We had one of the hardest camps in the NFL this year. So, you know, we're just trying to reap the benefits of all the hard work. And, you know, we're just going out there every day, um, you know, listening to our coaches and buying into the system and the game plans. And, you know, just going out there on Sunday trying to play together and get a win. All right. All right let's take us through the quarterback room now. Trevor Lawrence mm-hmm. in the huddle with you guys. Uh, he's uh, now into going into his third career start. What's it like with Trevor around, and, and what have you done to maybe make him more comfortable? Oh, man, amazing guy, high energy. You know, ever since he's came in, you know, each and every day he's just been getting better. Um, you know, and he's a young guy, but he's just, you know, get growing every single practice, every single game. And, you know, he has a lot of potential. He's very talented. Um, and, you know, he has a lot of, you know, he's just a great leader so far being in the huddle and calling plays and different things like that. He's very confident in what he does, and we believe in him, believe in everything he does, so we just backing him up 100%. Okay, Juwan, let's talk about your matchup this week at right tackle against the Arizona Cardinals. you got a couple of salty vets over there that yeah. can get after it, right? Yeah. J.J. Watt, Chandler Jones, they've been at this for a long time. Let's start with J.J. I mean, you've seen him, obviously, in the division in Houston. Right. Um, getting a little bit older now, but uh, don't let the, the age fool right. you. He can come right. play. What is the most – what is the thing you have to remember the most when you line up against Watt? Uh, high energy, high effort player. You know, he's a bigger body in, um, but he's going to go hard. He's great in the run game as well. He, he easily can get off blocks and different things like that, create tackle for losses. And, you know, we all know he can do as a rusher. So uh, I've, been, I've went against him, I think, about five or six times now in my career. And, you know, it's been great, great going against him. How about Chandler Jones, another guy who's been around here for a long time? He had a, a big week one, at least statistically. Right. Uh, not as much last week, but, I mean, he's been at this for a long time, too. What are some of the tricks of the trade for him? Don't don't give it all away. You're yeah. going to plan or anything. But what does Chandler yeah. do well? Oh, uh, He's just a very active guy, man. You know, he's a longer guy, so, you know, he, he knows how to get guys off him and get to the quarterback. So, um, he's a great another great player, another great vet. Um, you know, we're looking forward to going against both of those guys. What does this Jaguars offense need to get the spark that Urban Meyer talked about? That's what he said this week. The, this team just needs a spark, a guy making a play, something happening in a game and a few of those what does this offense need to get jump started i just feel like it all comes down to mindset and execution um those are the main two things i feel like that that's all we need to get the spark um, we have the talent we have the coaches we have everything we need um you know just have to be a mindset switch and you know everybody just has to execute and do their job not worry about the other guy and 
you know, I can't worry about the defense line. The defense line can't worry about what I'm doing. We all just do our job and collectively, uh, you know, just get a win. Let's get it this Sunday. How about that? That's it, right. Bank Field. Uh, good talking to you as always, Joan. We Thank appreciate you. you joining the post-practice water break presented by Crown Royal. Have a good one. You too.